Hi, I'm Jim Mungreen, Principal Mechanical Engineer for Dry Steam Corporation, and I'm going to walk you through a test we performed in one of our test labs, comparing two humidifier dispersion tube insulating technologies. On the left are dispersion tubes each insulated with stainless steel shielded air gaps. On the right are dispersion tubes insulated with polyvinyl iodine fluoride, commonly called PVDF. The purpose of this test is to determine which technology insulates better. An accurate way to do this is to measure condensate produced by each technology under identical conditions and then compare. The technology that insulates best will produce the least amount of condensate. In a duct or air handler, cool air flowing across hot dispersion tubes causes some steam inside the tubes to condense, thus maintaining the high temperature of the dispersion tubes. The convective heat transfer resulting from cool air flowing across hot dispersion tubes increases air temperature downstream of the dispersion tube assembly. Dispersion tube insulation reduces convective heat transfer, thereby reducing condensate production and downstream air heat gain. The better the insulation, the less condensate produced and heat transferred. Note that dispersion tube insulation only reduces convective heat transfer. It does not reduce downstream heat gain caused by the sensible heat of steam dispersed into the airstream. To ensure accuracy, we are simultaneously testing two dispersion tube assemblies with the same number of active dispersion tubes in the same dry steam glass wall testing duct. The duct has a 53 degree Fahrenheit horizontal airflow of 1,000 feet per minute. Each dispersion assembly is receiving 50 pounds per hour of steam from a dual tank humidifier operating at 100 pounds per hour. Steam hose run lengths from the humidifier to each dispersion assembly are equal. Drip tees at each steam delivery header ensure that no steam hose generated condensate enters the dispersion assemblies. The two dispersion assemblies are very similar in construction except for the dispersion assembly on the left has an optional insulated steam delivery header and the dispersion assembly on the right has factory standard enclosures around the steam delivery and condensate drain headers and also has an extra inactive tube that functions as a header drain. However, the significant difference impacting efficiency between these two dispersion assemblies is their dispersion tube insulating technology. The dispersion assembly on the left insulates tubes with stainless steel shields, which create an approximate one quarter inch air gap between each tube and its shield. The dispersion assembly on the right insulates tubes with one eighth inch thick PVDF insulation, which traps air in thousands of small pockets. To determine which insulation technology performs better, we are collecting condensate produced by each dispersion assembly in graduated cylinders for measurement. The cylinder on the left is collecting condensate from the dispersion assembly with stainless steel shielded air gap insulation. The cylinder on the right is collecting condensate from the dispersion assembly with PVDF insulation. The test concludes when the cylinder on the left is at 2000 milliliters and the cylinder on the right is at 1180 milliliters indicating that the dispersion assembly with the PVDF insulation significantly outperformed the dispersion assembly with the stainless steel shielded air gap insulation. In fact, tests performed when we were establishing PVDF's insulating performance guarantee showed that PVDF insulated tubes perform about twice as well as stainless steel shielded air gap insulated tubes. Why are the results of this test so important? Because unnecessary heat gain and condensate production wastes energy and water. Every pound of condensate produced wastes about 1,000 BTUs. That's the energy originally used to change that pound of water into steam humidification. And every 8.3 pounds of condensate sent to a drain wastes a gallon of water. And downstream heat gain increases the cooling load. What are the real world implications? For example, a 72 by 48 inch dispersion assembly with three inch on center dispersion tubes that are insulated with stainless steel shielded air gap insulation and operating 2,000 hours per year in 1,000 feet per minute, 55 degree duct airstream will produce approximately 70,000 pounds of condensate and waste approximately 70 million BTUs per year. Using PVDF insulation cuts those numbers in half, providing a savings of 35,000 pounds of water and 35 million BTUs. Now, multiply these numbers by the five to 10 dispersion panels installed for a typical application and the savings become significant and they are for every year of operation. To understand this issue in more detail, read our white paper, available on our website under the literature tab.
to calculate insulating performance for a specific application and receive a performance guarantee, order our DryCalc software. Available on our website under the Tools tab or contact a DrySeam representative to run the numbers for you.